AG Grid Enterprise Edition comes with integrated charts built in, allowing any grid to become an interactive business intelligence tool for exploring data. In this video, I will demonstrate how a user can explore data in an AG Grid using the integrated charting feature. When charts are enabled for a grid, we can select data and using the right-click context menu to create a chart. You can change to any of the supported graph types by choosing from the settings. We have grouped bar charts, stacked 100%, horizontal bar charts, pie charts, line charts, scatter charts, area charts, and histograms. And what we do is we choose the visualization format that works best for our data. We also have a few built-in themes to quickly adjust the color schemes. And the graphs are interactive by default, showing the series data in tooltips, and we can switch that off later if we want to. The charts are dynamic and linked to the data in the grid, so if we want to extend the selection of data, then we can use the data settings and add more data into the chart. We can also change the range by using the grid range selection itself. And as we change the range, it will show in the graph dynamically. The charts are linked to the data in the grid. So any change that we make to the grid data will be reflected in the chart. That seems a bit big, so I'll change that a little bit smaller so we can see it in context. And if we have a chart we like, then we can unlink it from the grid and any changes to the grid data will not impact the chart. When working with the settings, it's often useful to maximize the grid view, and we can configure what the graph looks like using the format settings. We can give the grid a title and change the styling of the title, adjusting the color and the size and the font. The padding options change how the graph is presented in the frame, so we can resize it as is appropriate for the image that we want to create for our presentations or for showing to other people. I can change the background color, and if I disable the background, then downloading the chart will download it with a transparent background. We can change the size and position of the legend and the format. I'll change it to bold. We can also switch it off if we want to. We can also configure the axis. I'll adjust the rotation a little bit. And we can change how the series is rendered. And we can switch the tooltips on and off to change how the graph interacts with the user. I'll amend the shadow of the columns just a little bit. And the navigator allows us to zoom in and out of the existing data and pan across to focus on a specific area. This lets us work with the same data in the grid, but to create snapshot images for reports, we can zoom in and out as appropriate. We can easily export the chart to use in different applications. I can either right click to copy the graph, or I can save it. And the built-in save button will use the title of the graph as the file name. We are not restricted to just one graph. We can display multiple charts at the same time. These can be different types, and we can adjust the format of them independently. And what's amazing is that if you are using AG Grid Enterprise to render your data grids, then the only development effort required to enable all of this functionality is a single line of code in the grid configuration. This graphing functionality is built in to the Enterprise Edition, and when enabled, every user can perform business intelligence and exploratory data analysis. Visit aggrid.com to learn more about our Enterprise Data Grid and Charting Library.